how we hard coded the numbers so they don't change because of that random uh, number generation tool. Okay, so now we can count the frequency of of these items and we can do our standard kind of frequency type of uh, type of let's do it this way where we would say okay here's our bins so these are these are representing the the uh minutes between arrivals now so so we've got zero you know if i look if i look at these numbers what's the what's the count that we have zero minutes on up to the 40 minutes between the arrival times and note that you can't really use a count if function to do this because these numbers over here are now not whole numbers so we have to use the frequency which are going to give us the bends so here's our fancy frequency uh, which we're just going to take the data array over here and then we're going to say the bends which are over here that's going to be our array function that'll give us the frequency and then it'll put put these items into our buckets so in this case then we have the number one so one minute how many times did we have uh the one minute and we in in our data set on this side 51 times uh two minutes or up to and including you know two minutes we had 30 of those three minutes uh 31 4 minutes 19, 5 minutes 20, 6 minutes 18, 7 minutes 14, 8 minutes 14, 9 minutes 18, 10 minutes. And you can see it starts to go down as we get up to those higher numbers. So there was a lot of them you could see that are on the lower side. So the time between arrivals, we tend to have a bunch that are on the, on the, on the shorter side when things are following this. Uh, exponential distribution and then we've got a few that take a lot longer in the interims and that and that is how you can kind of imagine what's happening on, with our curve so then we're going to say okay i can also represent this in terms of a percent of the total so these frequency bins if i add them up should add up to the number of counts that we did over here the number of customers that we looked at and saw the interim time which was 300 so that looks correct and so I can divide each of these then by the total of 300. So 51 over 300, whoops, hold on a second. Uh, 51 over 300 gives us the point, gives us the 0.17 or 17%. So there's gonna, so we can represent this as a percent then uh, as well, which is what it's gonna be represented as when we do the actual exponential distribution. And so that's, a, that's showing that calculation, okay. So then I could do it, I can do it this way. X equals the arrivals during one minute. And let's this time use our actual expone.dist. So now I'm gonna do the same thing, not using our randomly generated numbers, which represent us actually going out there with a with a stopwatch, but now we're just gonna do the smooth curve using our expone.dist, where I'm just gonna take the X here, we're gonna take the lambda, uh, and then we're going to take the cumulative it's not going to be cumulative so we put a zero so now we're going to plot this out with our actual curve which is similar notice it's giving us it's giving us the percentages right because when i use this curve i'm not going to get an actual frequency because because we're looking at the percentages so then i'd have to you know if i looked at this one what's the likelihood that we have the one minute and then if i did it 300 times you would think the 300 times the point uh, 1411 would be the actual frequency, you know, uh, of it. So this is, that's why you need the percent that we have so we can compare over there. And so, so this is what we get when we get the smooth curve or the curve generated from our function, right? And you can compare these out. So if this is the one, this is versus one, two and two, three and three, four and four, five and five, and so you could see they're somewhat similar. And so if I was to plot this out, this is the enter arrival times from our actual data set, plotting this out in a histogram, which looks like this. And you could see it kind of, it's approximating the shape that we would expect. It's not perfect, of course, because we, we didn't generate, we only generated 300 numbers. Uh, here, here, here it is with another, uh, another uh, type of graph. And then 
if I looked at it in comparison to the actual the actual curve, which is the blue curve in this case. So the blue curve is a nice smooth curve compared to the random generated curve. We can see that it approximates what we would expect from from the exponential distribution. So and so the, the general idea with these line weighting situations, like why does that happen? And you can see why it kind of happens here is because you've got these the, the times are often short the intervals are often short but then you have some of those intervals that are the that are the long intervals right and that's what's giving it that characteristic type of shape which often happens in these line weighting situations so if you were in a if you so if you saw the poisson distribution in a line weighting situation then again oftentimes you would think that if you took the exponential the time between that it would follow you know this kind of exponential characteristic uh, shape as well.